Hi guys, welcome to our channel. I'm Lisa from Sima APEC. Nowadays, you may hear lots of people on news talking about IoT. So, what is IoT? And how a company with over 100 years history like Siemens can do about this? This week is the week of smart. So I have invited our product marketing manager, Mr. Juan, to share one amazing solution from Simon. So I will hand over to Juan now. See you later. Thanks, Lisa. As you said, we are a 104 years old company. And for us, it's really important to understand the past in order to understand better the future. In, uh, in all of our long history, we never stop evolving our products and applying on it the newest technology available in the market. If we have a look about what's happening nowadays, we can see that day by day we are more connected into our environment. So there is a trend on called IoT or Internet of Things that uh, can help us to make our life more comfortable. How this link with our thoughts? First, we always believe that the switch is the main element that helps you to be connected with your home. But what means you be connected with your home? In the past, it was clear directly with cables connect to the light. But nowadays, this is changing. So in order to understand that, let me define what is IoT. IoT is the network capability to send information from one device to other and interact with uh, other devices, finally taking an action to make your life more comfortable and more uh, easy. So how we help to that? We bring our i7 and e3 series with uh, these electronics that make them uh, connectable to uh, this IoT network. Uh, so you can use all our products and also you can uh, use it with the app. So through your phone you will make all the configuration easily and then you will decide if you want to control from your switches or from your mobile phone. Both are okay. Why? Because uh, the switch will be always there in the world. Your phone, sometimes here, sometimes there. All, all we know that uh, sometimes you just need to go fast and press one key and everything will happen. Okay, so uh, how we can bring all this connectivity to our switches? is because we use Zigbee. So why Zigbee? The important thing is that Zigbee is an open source protocol that uh, allow us not work only with our catalog. Also, more than 400 companies are working with this uh, standard protocol and we can use all these elements and integrate into our mesh. So. Uh, Zigbee creates a strong mesh between all the different devices. Why this is, this is good? This is good because allow us to have only one gateway for all our installation. Doesn't matter the distance from the last element to the first, because always that in the middle we have different uh, devices, the first one can talk with the second, with the third, and then go to the gateway. So we can have a, a really wide range from beginning to the end, ensuring always the good functionality of your network. So how is the environment uh, we think for your home? Uh, first of all, as we said, we can interact with from inside or from outside with our phone. This phone will be connected to the cloud and the cloud will be connected with your router that is the entry point to your home. To this router you can always connect different Wi-Fi devices that finally will be also integrated with our app and will work with all our devices. So from where our network starts 
from the gateway. The gateway is the main element that will be connected uh, through a LAN cable to the router. And after that, we can start to build our, uh, our Simon environment. We can build this with two main elements. First of all, a huge range of uh, sensors that will detect something for you, will send this information to the app, and then with this information, you can trigger some actions. How we do these actions? with the different switches we can connect there. So as you can see here, we have the switch, the curtain switch, the scenario switch, also thermostat, the dimmer. So all these are our switches, as I already said, with i7 or i3 aesthetics. So now you already know which protocol we use, Sigby, which are our products, which are the benefits that this can uh, bring to your home. So before seeing this with our own eyes, let's talk about the product one by one and how we will connect this. Because we are talking about connective solutions, but uh, how to wire this is really easy because all the communications are wireless. So first of all, we have the gateway that is connected to the to the power uh, DC 5 volts EC and then the LAN cable to the router as I already said with this router and internet connection we will be able to control this with our phone from inside or outside but don't worry even we lose this internet connection all the setup of our home will be inside this gateway and will uh, will be able to control through the inside from the uh, switches so which are the switches we have switches and a scenario switch that as you can see here have the same aesthetics from one to four rotors but as we see the back side is different inside the blue square you can see the switch and inside the green square you can see the a scenario switch why are different so if we go to into the into the detail about how to connect we can see that first of all we need neutral and line connection for both so at this point is the same but now we need from the switch in this case is a two gun switch so every output we need to connect directly to the light because inside this switch is where where there is the relay that really open and close the circuit so uh, then you just press the rocker and are on the light if you press the rocker in the scenario switch this scenario switch will send the signal signal to the uh, standard uh, smart switch that will activate the relay to turn on the light okay so keep going with the dimmer and the curtain switch we have one and two gun and the way to connect is uh, similar to the switch we need neutral and line in order to power up the electronics and then for the dimmer we connect directly to the load and for the curtain switch we need to connect the open opening and closing uh, outputs to the curtain motor again once we have this connected we can use it for activate directly with these switches or using a scenario switch that will trigger the action of these switches uh, also we have thermostat we have two different kinds of thermostat first of all we have the fan coil type that also need to be powering with neutral and line cable and then we have five cables going out two for the open and close uh, the AC and three in order to select the different speed for the other type is based on mod bus so we only need DC uh, cables for cables to connect with the AC module uh, both of them also can be controlled by the scenario switch 
So that are our switches, and here you can see different sensors that we have also in our catalog, like the temperature and humidity sensor, the remote control, smoke, motion sensor, okay? So with all these products integrated into your home, you can make your house to become a home. Let me show two easy examples before going to see the real product. We have the door sensor, so if your kids are playing in the room and wants to go outside, once, once they open the door, automatically the thermostat can be powered off in order uh, to improve the energy saving of your home. Or, for example, now you are just watching the TV but the film just ends and you want to read or you want to relax, so just press the key of the scenario switch and the remote control will turn off the TV and the lighting will set up as your preferred lighting value in order to bring this comfort to you. Okay, so don't wait more until see the product because this is really practical and simple. So now let's go to our meeting room and we will show you our demo box that for sure you will enjoy it. Thank you. Hi everyone. We are here now with the smart demo box. So I will show you all the benefits that I was talking about. So first of all, we construct this suitcase in two different pieces in order to show it clearly that we use a wireless protocol to control everything. So we just need to power up both sides of the suitcase and uh, now it is missing just one thing that is the internet connection to the gateway so let me start here this is the gateway we know that it's the brain of our system is the device that is connected to internet and allow us to have a remote access from our app then we have here i7 with the 76 multi-gun frame, really nice aesthetics. And which SKUs do we have here? First, a smart switch to control on-off this warm light. Then we have a two-gun dimmer switch, so we can control these lights here, also that one, okay? And we have our curtain switch. So we can simulate with these indicators how it's closing or how it's opening the curtain. Then in this side what we have is the scenario switch. As we talked before, this switch only needs power in to power all the electronics inside but no any connection to the load. So now when I arrive home I press only one rocker and we can see as the thermostat already on with the temperature we uh, set up before and all the lights we want also on. Here we have one socket where we can plug, for example, this gas sensor. This gas sensor is really useful to install in the kitchen, so if any problem coming I will receive a notification in my app. The same as if the window is open, I also can receive here a notification or interact with the thermostat if I want to improve the energy saving of my home. So this is uh, our suitcase and is connected to the gateway through internet. That means that now from the Simon Home app, I can control everything. So, for example, if I leave home, just pressing one time, all my home power off. But also, I can interact device by device, like the dimmer switch, and also I can dim the light from here. It's really convenient. What else I can, I can do? 
So using a third party devices like the uh, a smart speaker that it's connected uh, through Wi-Fi for example to trigger my reading scenario so hey Google turn on reading mode and we can see how the light for the living room is on this light that can be in the corridor is just 50% and the thermostat is set up at the most comfortable temperature for me so this is roughly how our system works and some of the functionalities but before finishing this uh, let me show you more functionalities about the, the app for example inviting some friends to be able to control your home hi Lisa do you want to join I will give you permission to operate in my home Okay, so you already can interact with these demo logs. Okay, so now I want to switch on all the lights. Okay, so I think every light is on now. So how do you think about the system one? For me, it's a really good function that you can set up different users for the same home. For example, you can give your kids permission just as a user and your wife permission also as administrator to be able to change all the setup but I think Lisa will have another video to talk about how to set up and so on right yeah so if you want more information about how to set up and connect a smart system don't miss the Thursday we will have the second section and also if you want to know more information about our other solutions please welcome to visit our website or follow us on Facebook you can scan the QR code here, I will put on the screen. Thank you for watching. See you next Thank time. You.